Yo, what's going on guys? It's the Coming Country Day with this video, and today we have the Madden 17 Base Elite Safety Predictions. This is free safety and strong safety. I just want to start off the video by saying thank you. I actually gained, I think, about 10 subscribers yesterday, which is super cool. Now I'm over 450. Thank you very much for 450 subscribers. I know it's not a huge milestone compared to other people. That is a lot to me. If you guys enjoy the series, I, there is a playlist for this, so make sure to check that out. First up, we have George Ioka, 47 tackles, 1 interception, and 0 forced fumbles. I believe he was an 85 overall at the beginning of this year, and he did have a decent year. I know that he got a couple upgraded cards. I know he got the 92 Team of the Week card, so I believe that he is going to actually get a slight upgrade and go to an 86 overall. Now, Ioka is also a strong safety, but they, uh, the Bengals did lose one safety there, and that was Reggie Nelson. He will definitely be later in this video, because that man had an insane year. But next up, we have TJ Ward. 61 tackles, 0 interceptions, and 2 forced fumbles. Could have been the Super Bowl MVP. Very possible that he was Super Bowl MVP if Von Miller didn't get it. And he is going to get an 86 overall. I think, I think he was 85 overall as well. I'm not too certain on that one. He might have been 86 overall as well. But he definitely could have got a Super Bowl MVP. So that definitely will raise his rating to 86. He wasn't already in 86 this year. Next up we have Patrick Chung. 85 tackles, 0 interceptions, 1 forced fumble. That is quite a lot of tackles for a safety. No doubt about it. One force fumble, zero interceptions is, you know, kind of common to be honest. Not a lot of safeties get interceptions during the year. So he's going to get an 86 overall, get an upgrade, finally stop being a gold. He was an 83 overall this year, and he's finally going to get that 86 overall. I don't really see how a lot of safeties don't get interceptions. I guess it's just the scheme that they run, they just get a lot of tackles. Maybe a force fumble or two, but some of these guys just don't even have a pick. But next up we have... Deshaun Gibson, 60 tackles, 2 interceptions, and 0 forced fumbles. Big hitting safety, and a great coverage safety. I know you guys had his movers card. That movers card was a absolute beast. 86 overall for Deshaun Gibson. He is an absolute stud. Switching from the Browns to the Jaguars, I definitely like that move by him because I think the Jaguars have a very promising future coming up, and I think you just want to get a piece of the cake. Next up, we have Malcolm Jenkins, 109 tackles. Holy crap, a lot of tackles. Two interceptions and three forced fumbles. Those are beastly stats, not to mention he had a 100-yard pick six against Tom Brady. Now, originally I was going to make him 86, but I decided to make him 87 overall. I was going to make him 86 before I even looked at the stats of these players, but then I actually saw that he was just completely just beast on this year, and I had to make him 87. He did get a positional hero card this year as well, so that kind of led me to make him a little bit higher overall. Next up, we have Devin McCourty. 64 tackles, 1 interception, and 0 forced fumbles. Both of the Patriots' safeties are actually on this list, and both of them actually received Final Edition heroes, and usually Final Edition heroes do end up with the lead cards. He is going to get an 87 overall. Also, just to this is a little sidetrack, but if you guys did not see the GameStop reveal already, it has a reveal of all the mud cards. I'm sure a lot of YouTubers you've seen do it, but if you guys have not seen that already, go ahead and look that up. It has a lot of new mud cards, Landry, Deshaun Jackson, all of them. Next up, we have Eric Weddle, 78 tackles, 0 interceptions, 0 forced fumbles, coming from the Chargers. A lot of people think that his career is just over. And he's just going to play a couple more years, sign like a one-day contract with the Chargers, and then retire. But I honestly think that he can have many great years to come. I think he's going to go down to an 87 overall. I believe he was 89 this year. He was the 88 or 89. He did have a little bit of a down year, so I'm going to bring him down to 87. But he, in my opinion, he's still an elite safety in the NFL. So I think that he's going to have an actual up year this year with the Ravens. Pretty excited to see what he can do. Next up we have Eric Berry, 61 tackles, 2 interceptions, 0 force fumble. The comeback player of the year after defeating Cancer, Eric Berry got that amazing BCA card. 87 overall. 
He also got a campus legend card this year. And Madden 15, he was actually a base elite card. I believe he was 86 overall. I believe he's going to be 87 overall this year because he did want to come back player of the year. He may be 88, but I guess we'll have to see about that. Next up, we have Reggie Nelson. 77 tackles, 8 interceptions, 0 forced fumbles. That is actually tied for the most in the league, a three-way tie between him, Marcus Peters, and I think Kurt Coleman. I don't know if it's Kurt Coleman or not, but 88 overall. 8 interceptions is absolutely insane. This man's catching stats better be ridiculous coming up this year. Also, we switched to the Raiders, so the Raiders do have an amazing safety now, along with that rookie that they got. Carl Joseph, I think, huge hitter. I think that kid has a possibility of being Defensive Player of the Year. Next up, we have the Honey Badger. 89 tackles, 5 interceptions, and 1 forced fumble. Honey Badger is probably one of my favorite players in the NFL. Definitely my favorite defensive player in the NFL. 88 overall for Tyron Matthew. Now, I didn't know whether to put him in the free safety or if I should put him at cornerback because really I don't even know what EA is going to place him at because his own team doesn't really know what to pay him as. So, I guess we'll find out. I really hope they play him in safety, though. Next up, we have Earl Thomas, 64 tackles, 5 interceptions, and 1 forced fumble. Very similar stats to Tyron Matthew, just less tackles. It's kind of shown why, because Tyron Matthew also plays cornerback a lot, and he's also ranked as number one cornerback in pro football focus, so he is a beast. But... I believe that Earl Thomas is also going to get an 88 overall. So that is two free safeties so far. No, three free safeties so far with 88 overall. Because Deshaun Gibson is also a free safety. As you can see though, Earl Thomas kind of a shorter safety but really good zone coverage and decent hit power. Next up, we have Harrison Smith. 66 tackles, two interceptions, one forced fumble. And I think that he is also going to get an 88 overall definitely the best white safety in the NFL so that's actually four free safeties that I think deserve to get like an 88 overall I don't really see them making like a whole bunch of super high rated cards right as it starts so like 89s I could be wrong they could make like Reggie Nelson an 89 or Tyron Matthew an 89 or something like that but coming up we have Rashad Jones 135 tackles, 5 interceptions, 0 force fumbles. Holy crap, that is a ton of tackles. I believe that is the most, yeah, I think that's the most tackles by any safety. He is definitely going to get an 89 over a card. In Madden, 16. Rashad Jones is a freaking beast, probably the best safety in the NFL, to be honest. Makes a tons of tackle, tackles, and he also gets a lot of picks. But, coming up next, you guys can guess it. We have Cam Chancellor. 74 tackles, 2 interceptions, and 1 forced fumble. He didn't have his best year, but he already had a 90 over a card at the start of Madden 16. And also, we got a Team of the Year card, so a lot of people just like Cam Chancellor in general. So he's going to get an 89 overall card. Go down from his 90 to 89. And I think his stats can be incredible. He also has the fear factor that people just don't like to get hit by him. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. There is a playlist with all my basically predictions. Go check that out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.